The wants and fears system in The Sims 2 was probably one of my favourite features in the game. But obviously, you didn't have to fulfil the wants of your Sims, but it did give you mini goals as you were playing around with whatever it was that you were trying to do. So today, I want to make a Sim with the popularity aspiration, but we're going to take it one step too far, as always, on this channel. So I'll do whatever it is that my Sim wants, but because I'm so desperate to be popular that every time I make a friend, I'm going to lock them in the basement. Obviously, The Sims can't handle a lot of people on the lot, so the more friends that I make, the more buggy it's going to get. And we're going to see if the game can handle having so many people trapped in my basement. But anyway, let's jump into it. I made a sim called John Smith. I mean, that's the most popular name going, isn't it? Every fucker's called John Smith. And we've moved into Desiderata Valley. I don't even know if it's called that, but <laughs> whatever. Belladonna Cove. It was Belladonna Cove that I moved into, not Desiderata Valley. I don't know where I got that from. Did I? This looks like something I would have done. Why is this like that? Either way, I guess I don't need a basement. I can stick everyone in the attic instead. If I just do like that with the door, when they walk onto here, I can lock it behind them, right? <laughs> I don't know how, if this is how it works. Does that look weird when the roof's up? A little. <laughs> I don't know if I care enough. If I just put that here, then it's like a sealed up fireplace. So no dramas. So I furnished the downstairs with the basics, but we need to make the upstairs livable because just because I'm keeping my friends prisoner doesn't mean I'm not going to treat them right, okay? I'm not horrible. So I haven't left much room for anything, but <laughs> there's a cubicle toilet for you there. I'll sit the shower like right there. I want to put the sink there as well. I mean, that one bathroom area. So if I put a wall there, then that sink goes in. Okay, bathroom done. The kitchen, I'm probably just going to have to occasionally swap out the fridge so that it's restocked for them. So there's your fridge. Ceiling's too low to put a counter there. Great. Could give them a microwave. You're going to need a place to sit so you can do that next to the shower. You can read books for fun. I'll put that near your bathroom because everyone likes to have something to read in the bathroom. You can't tell me otherwise. Is that everything they need? I'm just thinking that they are going to need more beds. So if I can just throw a bed anywhere I can squeeze one. The one there. I think I'm only going to be able to get two in. Hang on. I'll swap the bookcase put it there next to the sofa and then you can go against this wall near the toilet. Brilliant. Well, hopefully I don't make too many friends because I'm not imagining many people will survive up there. If it comes to it, I will just have to make another basement. So now I want a job in politics to make a friend, to meet someone new and a job in the music career. I will take a job even though I'm not too bothered about having one, but it is a good way to make friends and I can use that. Uh, not to kill them. I was going to say to kill them. I meant to keep them. And look, I'm so ready to trap people. I'm already trapping fucking butterflies. Release them. Right, thank you for the newspaper. Get out the way. I can't click on it. Find a job. Entertainment. Science. Politics, yes. I don't need it yet, but I am going to need charisma for that. So I'll just throw a mirror in there and talk to myself until people turn up for me to talk to as well. Oh, I forgot to show you his personality. So he's not neat at all. He's not active at all because I wanted everything to go into him being nice, fun, and outgoing. Okay, some businesses have arrived to welcome you to the neighborhood. Let me greet you all. Uh... You want to be my friend so bad. So Chastity is going to be my first friend slash first victim. <laughs> I do feel bad a little bit. Uh, and now I want to be friends with Selfish. Selfish bastard. <laughs> From a video I made over a year ago. But let me go befriend him too. Can I just like move objects all of the sims I want up here? Lock and allow me only. And then are you going to use some fun stuff up here? Or are you just going to complain about the bookcase being in the way? Is this not usable? Can they not walk around here? Well, fuck me sideways. I guess it is time for a basement. Hold on. I've forgotten how to do them in The Sims 2. I feel like you have to lower the terrain and then just throw one in somewhere. I could be all wrong to be fair, but I really don't remember. Yep, yeah, I just googled it. To make a basement, you have to manually dig a hole in the ground. So instead, we're just going to get rid of this tree and build a little prison shack. I'm not a monster, so I will give them windows, but they're going to be windows they can't look out of. Okay, this has been really expensive and I've barely built anything. But the good thing is I have some stuff up here that I can just grab. I don't think they actually need anything fun, do they? If I just give them a toilet, a shower, and I know this is weird for a prison, but a mini fridge, they'll be all right, won't they? I'll lock that, allow me only, and then... Prisoner number one is in. Eventually, I'm either going to have to make it taller or I'm going to have to start putting more than one sim in one room. But for now, we're good. Oh, this is terribly dangerous. You two, are you going to become friends with me real quick if we play Kiki Bag? I told you, selfish bastard. Now we're friends. You idiot. I can't really afford another prisoner, but in you go. I'll lock you in too. Allow me only. And what will that do? Okay, good. He does move around and use stuff. She, for whatever reason, will not do anything but try to get out of there. What if I talk to you? I'll tell you some gossip. I'm not letting you leave, hee hee. Oh, actually, I'm just telling you you've got a neighbour and you love that. You're so excited about it. Oh, I'm even eating her food. <laughs> oh, she knows what's going on. She's leaving. Selfish, what are you doing? There's a shower right there if you want to use it, pal. I don't think he's going to. <laughs> Maybe I didn't need to put toilets and showers in there. Are they all going to die? I think what I need to do is actually 
get these people to move in. So technically they'll live in the house. The good thing is I do have a mod installed, which means I can have up to 50 people in a household. So <laughs> it will make the game crash faster, but it's fine. How are you bird watching? Have I not put a roof on? Whoops. <laughs> Let's just stick a flat roof on it. I mean, it has ruined my house, but that's fine. I can make the prison connect to my house if I do need to make another floor. Okay, well, I'm just going to leave you to it, Chastity, and I'll ask you to move in soon. If you say yes, it's your own fault. And you will say yes eventually, but we need to be best friends. Look at the time. I'd better go. I don't think so. <laughs> Why are you still sat on the floor? I don't understand. Well, whatever. That's both of you done. I guess I should probably get ready for work tomorrow because there's nothing else I can do while I work. No! <laughs> Selfish said see you later and he left. Okay, I am doing this all wrong. So I'm just going to have to let them leave and I'll invite them back. And when I have best friends, that's when they can move into prison. So I'll lock in, have a party because I'll be doing that after work tomorrow to get them back. But it's time for my first day of work, which is good. I'm going to need all the money I can get so that I can afford to run my prison. Promoted straight away and I brought a friend home from work today. Oh, Kitty, you've made a big mistake. Honey. You've got a big storm coming. I'll throw a party while I'm trying to win over whatever her name is. I've already forgotten. Yes, you're all here. All of my wants are to influence someone other than the fact that I want to lose my virginity too, apparently. I'll do that with chastity. Come here. Oh, it's not going well. There has to be a faster way to make friends here. I just don't know what. We had a great party. It was a roof raiser, apparently. Everyone is leaving now, though, and I still don't have a best friend. I guess I'll focus on my career and we'll try again tomorrow. I'm back from work. I've got another promotion and this guy... <laughs> You're going to be my friend too. As long as I just constantly keep making friends. While I'm making friends with new people, my old friendships will become best friendships after a while. And then I should be able to get enough people in my prison because it is looking empty right now and I'm not enjoying it. And now, because I'm already friends with the people that are here, I'm going to cheat just the tiniest bit. Get the tombstone of life and death. I'll just pop it out there and then make me friendly to everyone here. Anyone that I'm friends with, I'll just do that because then I can become best friends quickly by just admiring them or something and propose move in. Oh, I can make other sims that I'm not even friends with move in. Yes, live with me. Same to you. You move in. I've got so much money <laughs> and the kid's called Greedy Bastard and Samantha Bastard. <laughs> Can I leave the kid on the house on its own? What are you trying to do here? You can't leave children alone without a guardian. All right, selfish, you're moving in without your wife. I'm sorry. Oh my God, I'm going to move so many people in. This is already going faster than I wanted it to. <laughs> there we go. So the house is pretty full already. But the good thing is because I'm so rich from kidnapping everyone, I can finally furnish my prison more. I'm making the rooms upstairs a bit smaller because I don't think I need all the space that I've given everyone. So any of the really long ones like this, I'm just going to make family rooms because it's cruel to separate a family. So I wouldn't do that. You two are a family actually. So I do need to furnish upstairs because I'm just going to, I'm going to let you share this family room, lock you in there. And there we go. That's their room. Who else have I kidnapped? Selfish. I'll give you the cell that I tried to give you before. Gabriel. I've probably edited this out because I don't think I was talking while this happened, but when I was trying to get logic skill, he came over and hit me because I was spying on his house, apparently. So you can go in the prison too. I don't even know who this man is, but you can get in. Who's that? Wonder am I? Do you live here? You even found yourself your own little cell. Thank you for going in there for me. Lock you in there. Now, just to say, you don't have to go to prison just yet because I said I was going to woohoo with you and I'm going to... Oh, we're in love. Great. Woohoo with chastity. Actually, try for baby. The carpool for Blair will arrive in about an hour. Okay, a lot of people are going to lose their jobs. <laughs> And their minds, but yay, you're pregnant. Straight to jail. Now, while I was putting chastity in prison, I did see this bag of chips flashing purple. Yeah, like that. So I'm going to save it. Just in case. Okay, Samantha, don't worry. You can go next to your husband. I am glad that they're just walking themselves there, though. It's, it's making this quite easy. And everyone's fine. They're all doing their own thing. Is it just me in the house now? Am I alone? Yes. Good. You. <laughs> How are you? Uh-oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> that'll be someone's job. I don't know why in my head I was like, oh no, someone's died. <laughs> like the ambulance turns up for them. You trying to get to work, Blair? Because you can't. Hey, John, is Gabriel available to talk? He's in prison. <laughs> no, he is not. Also, I know I'm popular, but how do you know my name? I don't know anyone but these people. But everyone's getting on just fine. I mean, I don't think they can go to the toilet. Hold on. I can fix that. Let me put the fridge here. We're all too close to Sim. All right. Well, that won't work. Right, Melody, settle down. You can piss soon. Go over there. Now, just because you're being such a little prick about this, I'm going to give you a glass door right in front of the toilet. So you're not getting the privacy you asked for. Don't complain about the door. It's better than the nothing you had before. There you go. All oh, right, well, he still wanted to come in and watch. Just get out. Now I'm just going to leave him to it. I am starting to notice a few graphical errors already. So I don't know how much longer this is actually going to last. Can you... Settle down, Samantha. Everyone else is fine with where they are. What's wrong with you? Oh, wait, she doesn't live here, does she? <laughs> I'm so sorry, Samantha. You've got a child at home. Go look after greedy bastard. 
will set you free. Did you even want to be set free? Where are you going? Why are you coming back in the house? Have you learned nothing? She either doesn't know that her husband's trapped here or she doesn't give a shit. Either way, <laughs> she's loving this show. Okay, time for work. For me. Other people do have work in school, but they're not going. And I should <laughs> get another promotion again today. <laughs> this is too easy. I hope I bring a friend home from work today. Hey, she did that because she's mad at her husband, not because she's mad at me. <laughs> That's why she didn't care. All right. Melody lost a grade by missing school today. She's going to lose an education by missing every day. I'm a city council member. I'm a city council member with a secret. I have so many people trapped in my house. Do I know anyone else? Kitty. Oh, Kitty. I forgot all about you, girl. Get yourself around here. Sounds great. I'll be there in a few. I can ask you to move in and I didn't even cheat for it. Will she say yes, though? Because no, we don't know each other very well. <laughs> what if I give you a kiss instead? I'm just going to be really weirdly forward with you. Uh-oh. Oh, I forgot you're pregnant. <laughs> oh, chastity, I'm so sorry, but eat some food. What's wrong with you? Can you not get to it because of that? Serve a full plate of instant meals. We need to keep you well fed because you're my baby mama. Okay, I just thought I can put in trash chutes in everyone's rooms and then they don't have to die because they can't get to the food. They can die through other means, but <laughs> not through this. I do feel quite sorry for chast... Uh, chastity? Melody. <laughs> Whatever. Because she doesn't have any room. So uh, I'm going to give her a separate room because I am a good person. I don't think she has anywhere to eat though. Do you know what? You can have this bowl of cereal. It will stop you from getting in bed though, I think. Kitty, give me one more kiss. And then I'm going to ask you to move in. She still said no. Oh, Kitty, you're pissing me off. Yes, I know this is bad. I know that I've got a woman trapped in here who is having my baby. But what if I just get all of them pregnant? <laughs> have you thought about that? Right, if I propose, I can't even get to stay the night. Oh, because it's gone midnight. Oh, she loves me. Right, if you love me, you will move in. Not to provide you with an ultimatum there. Try for a baby with you as well. You're pregnant. And now you can go in there. Oh, bless her. She's lost it already. <laughs> She thinks she's talking to someone, but she's actually talking to a can of instant meal. I can see that Wanda is married. Will that stop me from getting her pregnant? I'll just go give her a quick peck and then... We're in love because that's how easy it is. Try for baby with Wanda, I can. Yes, let's just stick you there and try for baby with John. She also wants to try with Steven, apparently, but I don't know who that man is. Oh, she even had the want to have a baby, so I'm not a bad person. She wanted this. It didn't work, though. Let's try again. Maybe I can't get her pregnant because the house is so full. Right, maybe she already is pregnant. That was a lot of tries, so just go back in your cage. And I've got the full weekend free now, so I guess I'll go downtown, make as many friends as I can, and get as many people into this place as I can in one go. Let's go to a nightclub at 10 in the morning and see who we can find. Am I not getting changed? Is, am I going in my underwear? I guess it's a talking point that I'll get everyone to talk to us. Now, we've got no time to be distracted by whatever the fuck you're looking at right now. What are you going for? You're just curious as to what that is. It's a lamp. It's all right. Greet everybody you can. And then if we all get in the hot tub together, can we just chat until we're best friends? I know it doesn't work that way, but I want to try. I don't think this actually builds relationship fast, but it might. <laughs> we'll see. Apparently, I've got a thing for blondes. This was unintentional. And I do think I made my... Yeah, I'm turned on by blondes. <laughs> so maybe it was intentional. Okay, it's not working fast, but it is working. I'm going to lock in the want to have a party because I'm going to do that when we get back with all my new friends. Okay, I'm friends with him. Now I'm going to get in the hot tub. Why are you naked, Sierra? This is the brown haired hot tub. <laughs> then we've got the blonde hair hot tub over there. Very abrupt snap back to the house. The game kept crashing because I might be corrupting this neighborhood a little bit, but it's okay. I am going to reset it after this, but I did manage to make quite a few friends. So I'm inviting them over. Let's see if these people actually do want to come around. Some of them haven't. That's okay. Who is here for my crazy party? One sim. <laughs> yes. Brilliant. Well, I guess I'm might as well get you pregnant. <laughs> oh no, she, she didn't like the kiss. But we're good friends. Give me a hug. Oh, maybe we're not very good friends. What if I just admire you instead? Is that okay? No, What? <laughs> what's wrong with you? Can we gossip? She loves a bit of juicy gossip. That's it. What's going on? <laughs> Everyone's saying that I haven't been in touch with them in a while, but is that everybody in the neighborhood? Because I, have no, I haven't met any of these people. Oh no, <laughs> I am breaking this game. We'll just leave that there. They're okay. If I close every single one, it, is just, it keeps going. The page is just covered in that. And that ambulance is here again. Blair, are you ready for work? Oh God, the game is going to crash soon. It does keep crashing a lot as well. I'm afraid there's only one thing for it. Oh God, see, look at this. This is bad. <laughs> This might not be the best video I've ever done, and this might crash the game, but it has to end. It has to end somehow, because this is hell on earth. So I'm just gonna set them all on fire. At least they're fine up here. I did forget that two of those sims were pregnant. <laughs> 
That's really bad. I'm just going to have to end it there. Pretend none of this happened. All right, it, this is all a dream. So the video that I was meant to be putting out today, I've had a lot of technical issues with it, which is why I'm putting this one out. So I'm sorry if it's not the best. I kind of was hoping that would work a lot better than it did, but it kept crashing. I had to just get it cut short. But thanks for joining me for another one. I promise the next video is going to be a lot better than this. If you enjoyed this video, go and watch some of the other videos on my channel as well. And if you see me pop up a few times and you don't subscribe already, please do. It does really help. But I will catch you in the next one. So I'll see you then.